Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, we're gonna do a read aloud now. We're just out here enjoying the weather outside. Can you guys say hi? Hi guys! Hi. Uh, and so, hope you guys are enjoying the read alouds. Uh, and we will continue reading Shredder Man. And Should I will talk to you guys later. Right, class. We are gonna continue reading from Shredder Man, Secret Identity. If you remember where we left off, uh, Nolan had just spread all of his confetti with his links on it all over the school. So we got a couple more chapters in today. Chapter 11, Dr. Voss comes knocking. Reminder, Dr. Voss is the principal. When the recess bell finally rang, I waited until almost everyone else was out the door. And when I did go outside, all of my beautiful, awesome papers were just lying there, like trash. Kids were walking on them, running over them, ignoring them. I felt like calling, hey, check out the confetti. Read it. Instead, I walked around with a lump in my throat. Then, I heard one of the fourth grade teachers say, what in the world? Look at this mess. She picked up a purple slip and read it. She picked up another and another. Pretty soon, she had a whole handful of confetti. A girl came up to her and said, what is that, Miss Bernhardt? And picked one up too. Miss Bernhardt blinked around in the blacktop and, uh, and sand. Her mouth was hanging open. She ripped the paper out of the girl's hands. Then she did a power walk straight for the office. The girl picked up another slip off the ground and read it. Hey, she called to a friend, look at this. That's all it took. It spread like a cyber virus around the playground. Everyone was picking up slips. Everyone was laughing. They're talking about their friends. Kids were smiling, laughing, giggling, showing each other their slip set. And they were running all over the place to see if there was more. Something on a slip they hadn't read yet. There wasn't a ball bouncing anywhere on the playground. I could hear the voices. Shredder man. Shredder man. Shredder man. It was quiet at first, but then it got louder. And louder, like a swarm of bees getting bigger and bigger. Miss Bernhardt came back, and she wasn't alone. Another teacher, Miss Sims, was with her. So was our principal, Dr. Voss. Pretty soon, all the teachers were in a huddle near the bathrooms, even Mr. Green. They were talking rapid fire, too. Hands were waving, heads were shaking. They didn't know what to do. It was too late to stop it. Then Freddy came up behind me and shoved my shoulder. Why are you just standing here, nerd? I caught my balance and turned around and shoved him back hard. And before I could believe I'd, I'd done that, out of my mouth popped, nothing, okay, P-boy? He blinked at me. Then he just stood there like I hit him with a stun gun. I took a step back and said, you're Freddy and I'm Nolan. Got it? He nodded. Then he followed me as I walked away saying, I just couldn't believe you weren't checking these out. He handed me a purple slip. They're about Bubba. Bubba? I said, trying to act like I didn't know anything about it. What is, what's this Shredder Man stuff about? I don't know, but I sure want to check it out. You think Miss Circuit will let us use the internet? I blinked at him. And I wanted to say us, but instead I laughed and said, worth a try. The computer lab was open, but we didn't see Miss Circuit right away. She's really short, even shorter than most of the upper graders, so it's easy to miss her, but Freddie spotted her behind her computer. Miss Circuit, I asked. She was grinning ear to, from ear to ear. Huh? She said and looked up. Before she could switch back to her browser's homepage, I saw my homepage flash on her monitor. She'd been visiting Shredderman.com. Yes, Nolan? Well, hi there, Freddy. I said, we were wondering if we could use the internet. She raised an eyebrow and asked, 
Was there any particular site you wanted to visit? She picked up a piece of confetti off her desk and waved it at us. I don't think Dr. Voss is going to permit it, permit visits to Shredderman.com if that's what you're after. Darn, Freddie said. Bummer, I added, trying hard not to smile. As we left the computer lab, Freddie said, Wow, if they're censoring it, it must be good. And he took off down the ramp, calling, See you back in class. By the end of recess, confetti was in the pockets everywhere. There was almost none of it left on the ground. Back in class, people tried to ask Bubba what was going on. But he just got mad. I don't know, stupid. What do you think I know? How am I supposed to know, huh? Then, like a couple of dumb monks, Kevin and Max said, Yeah, how is he supposed to know, huh? Mr. Green had barely gotten everyone to quit talking when Dr. Voss came into the room. My heart stopped. I could see it on her face. She knew. Boy, was I in deep, deep doo-doo. Dr. Voss whispered something to Mr. Green. Then they both looked very serious. Then Dr. Voss left the room, but we could see her waiting outside. Mr. Green said, Okay, gang, take out your special social studies books and begin reading on page 149. We'll be answering questions at the end of the section, numbers 1 through 10. We pulled out our books. We turned to page 149. We looked at Dr. Voss waiting outside. Then... Mr. Green moved between the tables. He was headed straight for ours. My heart was pounding. How had they figured it out? How had I given myself away? I'd even registered Shredderman.com to Shredderman. I hadn't used any part of my real name anywhere. But Mr. Green didn't stop at our table. He walked right past me. Right over to table six. And two seconds later, it was Bubba Bixby. Not me, who was on his way to the office. Next chapter is chapter 12, Yours in Truth and Justice. I didn't see Bubba again for the rest of the day, but at lunch, kids in the food, food line were all talking about him. Where's Bubba? Someone said, as he was, someone said he was hauled off by Dr. Voss. What did he do? I don't know. It must have been must have done something wickeder than usual. I can't wait to check out that Shredder Man site. Me neither. I kept my head down and my mouth shut. At the lunch table, there was no one knew anything either, but everyone was guessing. I bet Bubba got suspended. Maybe expelled. It's about time. No kidding. What if he's Shredder Man? Can't be. Didn't you read these? Yeah, but it's what's comic mean anyway? Funny, stupid, like comedian. Don't call me stupid or I'll call you Bubba. Oh, sorry. I just drank my milk and tried to keep a straight face. It was actually pretty quiet the rest of the day. Mr. Green seemed really spacey. He even forgot our 15 minutes of music time, and he never forgets music time. After school, I charged home. I didn't do my power walk either. I ran. Have a good day, honey, my mom asked from the computer. Great, I said. I peeled off my backpack. The best. Really, what happened? Then she noticed my arm. Hey, that's quite a scrape. Yeah, I I fell down. Ooh, your hands too, she said, flipping them over. Let's clean them, clean them up, huh? Do superheroes let their moms clean, out their, clean them out with iodine? I doubt it, but there was no getting out of it, and while I cringed and hissed, she said, so tell me, what was so great about today? I, well, I stuck up for myself, twice. Oh, one of her eyeballs reached for the sky. Yeah, once when these two older kids were making fun of me for my power walk, and once when Freddie called me nerd. Really, she said, that's wonderful news, good for you. It worked out fine, too. I think those sixth graders might actually try the power walk sometime. Then I added, it gets you places fast. Her eyes twinkled. 
I know. She rubbed me down with Neospore and then kissed me on the head and said, I'm proud of you for sticking up for yourself, honey. Thanks, Mom. She cut out, she cut me up some apples and cheese, and after I'd wolfed those down, I went straight to my room. I booted up, loaded Shredderman.com, and scrolled straight to the site counter. It said 27. Already? Oh, yeah. And there were email messages for Shredderman at Shredderman.com. Seven of them. I read them all quick. Six were good. One was bad. Uh, said that they thought Alvin the Dumb Monks was the stupidest thing they'd ever seen. Probably sent by Kevin or Max. But one of but the good ones were great. Someone said, Shredder Man, you rock. Keep on shredding. Someone else said, How'd you catch him? I can't believe it. Who are you? P.S. Can I be your sidekick? I answered everyone and signed them all. Yours in truth and justice, Shredder Man. It was more fun than Christmas. Then I copied the messages that didn't have bad words in it and pasted them into the new This Just In link, leaving the person's name off it if they'd signed it. I wanted just to sit there refreshing the site, waiting for my counter to go up or more emails to come in, but I made myself shut down. Then I kept on shredding right through homework. When Mom called, Dinner! I raced down the table. I was starving. I ate lasagna, beans, salad, more lasagna. More beans, more salad. Being a superhero sure gives you an appetite. My father said, you having a growth spurt, champ? My mother said, see, Nolan? I said, what's for dessert? After I cleared the dishes, I ditched back to my room. Computer on, site loaded, shredderman.com was up to 73 hits. Woohoo! There was more email, too. I scrolled through them, but froze halfway down. There was a message from Bixby at BigNet.com. Uh-oh. I opened the file, hoping my virus protection was working. The message was from Bubba, all right, and it said, I know who you are, you ugly guy. You're going to be sorry You're gonna be sorry you were ever born. Uh, triple, O. Oh. I sat there for a long time looking at it. Could he really have been could he really found out who or found out it was me? What would he do to me if he did know? Pound me, crush me, kill me? But wouldn't he have to put wouldn't he have put stupid nerd instead of you ugly other word if you knew my name? I answered the rest of the emails and finally hit the reply button on Bubba's message. After staring at the screen for a minute, I typed, Alvin, you're right. You do know me. I'm everyone you've ever beaten up or threatened. Everyone you've ever made fun of or robbed. You see me all right every time you turn around. So look out. I'm watching you. Yours in truth and justice. Shredder man. I pressed send, and then I added the conversation to this just in page. Then I shut down and got ready for bed early. It's dangerous being a superhero, and a little scary, too. What if Bubba really did know? Tomorrow, I'd find out. Tomorrow's going to be Chapter 13, Miracle at Table 4. Hope you guys enjoyed it.